Ah! Welcome to the know, I'm Ashley. And I'm Gus. Great news, Kingdom Hearts fans, if you're one like myself. At long last, people have finally got hands on time with Kingdom Hearts 3. It is here, it's a real game. Real, just like the real boy. At least a couple levels are, and that's something. Yeah, considering how long we've been waiting for the game, it's a really encouraging step to see actual playable levels. It all went down at a press event that included officials from Square Enix and even Pixar to talk about the game. And people so far seem to like what they saw, so that's great. I will admit that after the game has been in development all this time, yeah. it's been so many years, I've just, I've had this worry in the back of my mind that we're gonna get some sort of Duke Nukem mm. level by, you know, well, by the time it comes out, it's super outdated. Well, Square nailed it with Final Fantasy XV after a long development cycle. They did, so maybe I should have had a little bit more faith, but I was just, you know, a little bit worried. Uh, but as a bonus at this event, director Tetsuya Nomura gave some more details about the game's tone and overall themes, so we got details there too, it's great. Yeah, so these are all good signs that the game might actually be coming this year, we'll see. Just like Square <laughs> Enix has been saying. Uh, yeah, uh, look, if we sound a little suspicious, it's because Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, like, it's one of those g games that's been vaporware. It seems like it was coming, and then it didn't come, and then it was coming, and then it, it didn't come for years now. So, yeah, maybe it's weird to think that the wait might be at an end, that maybe it's actually coming this year, maybe. Then we can just all wonder when the Final Fantasy VII remake is gonna come out. Oh, but you might boy. remember that Sony announced Kingdom Hearts 3 at E3 way back in 2013, and since then, it's been quite a wait. All right, so let's get into everyone's impressions of the game so far. At the event, members of the gaming press got to check out a couple of worlds, including Mount Olympus from Hercules and a couple sections from Toy Story. While Mount Olympus has been featured in past games, the Toy Story world is definitely new and it's got a lot of fans excited. It looks great. Uh, Pixar's lead storyteller Jason Katz even talked about having to forge a relationship between Square Enix and Pixar so that the game studio could be trusted with Pixar's original movie assets. Katz said of that collaboration, it takes time to establish trust and to understand what we can both collectively bring to the table. As for the Toy Story level, it showed off Woody, Buzz Lightyear, Rex the Dinosaur, and Ham the Piggy Bank, but apparently Andy has vanished along with the other toys. Well, that's a problem. That's of course when Sora and company show up to help. <sighs> What a relief. They head off to a place called Galaxy Toys, which is a toy store that's unique to the game, but a young version of Xehanort is also there with some evil toys of his own. And it culminated in a whole mech battle with Sora controlling giant Giga's robots. There was even some meta humor present with Buzz Lightyear being weirded out by Sora's explanation of parallel worlds, but then he tells Sora, oh, that's right, you're from a video game. Meta. Hmm. As for the Mount Olympus level from Hercules, journalists got to battle a rock titan, which you might remember from previous games in the series, as Sora joined forces with, well, who else? Donald and Goofy, so you can never get heals. <laughs> and um. like in past games, the group was able to partner up for team attacks, but in a new twist, there was also a brand new attacks called Attractions, which are based on rides at Disney theme parks. And, and that's we call one that of the early Vertical things. integration. <laughs> yeah, but that is one of the things that uh, we saw in like the early, early demos that they showed right after announcement. We saw like the um, the roller coaster, mm. for example. And as journalists noted, there were attractions based on um, the Mad Tea Party ride from Disneyland, the roller coaster of Big Thunder Mountain, which we have seen a pirate ship that seemed inspired by the vessel from Frontierland, which I think we've also seen that one before. Mm. There are also attacks called Lynx, which are basically summons in the demo. Sora could summon Ariel from the Little Mermaid for a water-based attack, or Wreck-It Ralph for an attack that wrecks it. What? It does? Yeah. As for Sora, who is of course the lead character in the series, although if you've played a bunch of the games, you, it can be hard to tell. Um, he's apparently got a lot of new abilities this time around. One of the biggest things that people notice is the fact that Sora is able to wall run in the game, and he can apparently do this on most vertical surfaces. You've so, been watching Titanfall 2? Yeah, or playing Titanfall 2? Got there before I could. Yeah, nice yeah, work. I did it. I beat you. Yeah. Uh, parkour. Uh, oh, and his Keyblade is able to transform into multiple forms, and Sora can equip three of those forms at the same time. In the demo, Sora had a Keyblade that was inspired by Tangled, Monsters Inc., and Toy Story, each with its own unique attacks. Yeah. Otherwise, it does look like the normal combat has largely carried over from previous games, so you press up and down on the D-pad to select items and abilities from the menu, push X to execute them, all that is gonna be familiar. And there's also a shortcut menu that's accessible by holding L1, but in a new feature, you'll be able to use the left and right on the D-pad to switch between Keyblades, which again, you'll be able to equip three of at any time. Now, there were also teases of other worlds at the press event. Ars Technica said journalists got to see how Square Enix is developing a physics system for Rapunzel's long hair in Tangled. Okay. Uh, apparently even functions as a weapon in the game, so that's 
cool. All right, interesting. Uh, happily, Nomura was also on hand to give some more details. According to the official PlayStation blog, he said that the theme of this game is resolution, specifically that of the ongoing battle against the main series antagonist, Zehanort. I always pronounce Zehanort. I get it wrong. Z it Zeha. looks like Zeha. Zeha. Yeah. I also, I used to call him Zena, Zena Hort. Just oh, I, don't know. I can see I that. I switch letters yeah. around. It's ridiculous. No problem. Whatever you, anyway, what you do. Anyway, Nomura also said that Kingdom Hearts 3 will have a darker overall theme than previous games, as was foreshadowed in events that take place in the mobile game Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, which you definitely played, right? The yeah. mobile game? Yeah, sure. Uh, as for a release date, we don't have one yet, but Nomura said that they'll share more information about that early next month. What is happening early next month? Hmm, it's almost like there's an event of some kind Maybe. where a lot of announcements are typically made. Mm -hmm. We'll have to look into that. Here's the thing though, based on all this, it looks like you guys, this game is actually happening and the people who got hands on time liked what they saw, even if they were obviously limited to a couple of stages. So it's it's good news. Anytime there's finally hands on, you're like, it's real. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you're gonna be so heartbroken when it gets pushed to February 2019. <laughs> IGN said Kingdom Hearts 3 looks to be a true evolution of the franchise, recapturing that magic by taking all those various offshoots and experiments and melding them into a cohesive, exciting whole. And Polygon said it captures the whimsical charm of Disney and Pixar's animated films in an action-packed game that, even if you don't follow the Kingdom Hearts series religiously, is likely to put a smile on your face. And Ars Technica's reviewer said he was already surprised at how good Kingdom Hearts 3 is thus far. Now, obviously we are gonna learn a lot more in the next few weeks, but this is good news and a sign that the long wait for Kingdom Hearts fans may be finally coming to an end. And of course, if the game is as good as it sounds, if the whole thing is as good as these levels that people got to play, the wait is gonna be worth it. So what do you guys think of these early impressions of Kingdom Hearts 3? Let us know in the comments. And for all your Kingdom Hearts 3 news, including when a release date's finally announced, because we'll definitely talk about that, make sure you like this video, and if you're new around here, subscribe to The Nil. Ooh, I can see the prompter in the mirror back there. Ooh. It's reversed, but I see it right. Great news, Kingdom Hearts fans. You can read it from there long instead. Last. I always like to play the game of seeing how much of this I can read backwards. Mm -hmm. I'm getting pretty good at it. So there with some evil toys of his own. Damn it, I always get it wrong.